to the Olympic champions making their sixth appearance here at the end of season championships. They've been in two previous finals, so this is their third final at this tournament. Their opponents, Lee So Hee and Shin Sung Chan, making their first appearance as a pair and hoping to create history today by becoming the first pair from their country ever to win the title at the end of season championship. There was one pair who reached the final previously, and that was in 2011, Ha Jung Ung and Kim Min Jung. But I thought the way they were playing in the semi-final, they have every chance to take the title and make history here. This is the ninth meeting between the two pairs and of the previous eights, Lee So He and Shin Sung Chan actually have the advantage. Not only have they won that last one at the Fuzhou China Open, that was the semi-final stage, they've actually won the last three encounters. That last encounter was two straight games, as you saw, 16 and 12. But this is the first time that these two pairs have met in a final. So it might be the ninth meeting between the two, but this is the first time they meet in the final. Well, there was only two pairs in the whole of the women's doubles who had won this title before. And that was this pair, and that's Tomo and Takahashi, and Chen Ching Chen and Jia Yifan, the other pair. She's 26 years of age now, born in Aizumi town in Tokushima, on the northeast of Shikoku Island in southern Japan. She and her partner uh, were world number ones for a total of 127 weeks. But this, incredibly, was the fourth time that they have finished the year number one on either the Super Series ranking or now we call it the World Tour ranking. As you can see, Ayaka Takahashi is a couple of years older than her partner, born in Kashihara City in Nara Prefecture in South Hongshu. Olympic gold medalists, world championship bronze medalists, Asian Games, twice silver medalists at Asian Games. They have achieved so much in the sport. As far as Lee So Hee is concerned, uh, she is making her third appearance and she was a semi-finalist two years ago with Zhang Yena, her former partner, with whom she reached number two in the world ranking. Born in Usan, uh, which is uh, right in the south of the country, Xin Xiang Chang, Xiang Chan is 24, uh, but she only turned 24 12 days ago. So first appearance as a pair for the World Championship, a bronze medalist from four years ago. Then they went their separate ways. Shin Xiang Chan then formed a very successful partnership with Jung Kyung Ung, with whom she won the Olympic bronze medal. So how long who from China is our rumpa for this one? And Simon out from Hong Kong, the service judge. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Misaki Matsumoto and Ayaka Takahashi, Japan. And on my right, Lee Sogi, Chin Chen Chang, Korea. Lee Chen Chang to serve to Ayaka Takahashi. Bravo. Hey! Play. from Shin Siang Chan. But Morton, you and I were very impressed by the Koreans in their semi-final yesterday. I know that uh, they reversed the results of their group match against the world champions, but it wasn't just the victory, it was the manner of their victory. It was the way they did it. They won, I think, 21-13, 21-13. They did indeed. Uh, they really, really played well. 
There's no doubt that these two pairs are by far the best in the tournament. They have played really well. And uh, I know that you said uh, the Korean pair lost uh, one of the matches on the way, but still, I feel that we have by far the two best pairs in the final. And just to emphasise your point, Morton, this is actually the fourth Let consecutive go, uh, final in four tournaments played wow. for this Korean pair. Yes. So they are the pair of the moment. They may only be ranked seven in the world at the moment, but they're going right up there at the moment. They are. They are definitely preparing well to have a good start for the uh, Olympic qualification. There's no doubt about that. Also really good for, for international women's doubles badminton because I think that uh, Japan has been extremely dominant. So it's, it's good to have other nations in there to, to challenge them. Yes, yesterday you were uh, contemplating the fact that when uh, the Olympic champions from Japan were 7-13 down in their opening game against Zhu Yue and uh, Li Hunwei, wouldn't it be extraordinary after Japan's dominance in the women's doubles if they didn't have a pair in the final? <laughs> yeah. And I thought, well, what exactly is that dominance? We've had 26 HSBC BWF World Tour events prior to these finals. Yes. And the Japanese pairs have won 16 of the 26 women's yeah. doubles titles. Just to one nation. Yep. It's an individual uh, uh, tour and events, of course, but... One nation to have that many good women's doubles pairs. Yep. And then, if we go, possibly take the the top ones only, then the percentage might even go higher. Yeah. Yeah, 10 of the 15 titles of level 2 to 4, so Super 1000 to 500. Yeah. 10 of the 15 titles yeah, won by getting... four different pairs from China, from, from Japan. Yeah. But so far, it's a very, very good start for, for the Japanese pair because uh, the, uh, the attack from uh, the Koreans is not really biting at the moment as what we saw yesterday. I think we might see quite a few of these long rallies. She was sensational at the front of the court. Yeah, she was, yeah, yeah yesterday. yesterday. The force and power she, she played at the net was really fantastic. There again. She's even giving instructions, waving her partner to the other <laughs> side of the court in the middle of the rally. Yeah. That's a showing surplus. I know I mentioned it yesterday as well, but I, I want to mention it as well today. It's nice to see the Korean pair is sharing the, the workload a lot, lot better between them. Um, we commentated in, in France where it was really one-sided, where Lee So-hee was playing almost 75, 80% of all shots. Here, they're already now sharing the workload a, a lot, lot more. I think there was a reason for that in Paris, because uh, the uh, tournaments uh, prior to that, in the autumn, the uh, Korean pair had retired yeah. 
partway through the first game of three consecutive tournaments. Japan, China and Korea. They pulled out mm. injured. And I think that Lee so he was trying to protect her partner as she was coming back from injury. I think that's why that happened in Paris. And then she and Lee so he ended up having cramp, cramp yeah. instead. Yeah, absolutely. But that's good. You might be right on that. Yeah, good placement of the smash from Takahashi. So far, we've had first-time winners. No former champions have won so far. Yeah. But I have to say the former champions, Matsutomo and Takahashi, are looking pretty impressive at the moment. Yeah, they're very comfortable. Ah. 11-3, the advantage here at the mid-game of interval of the opening game. And Morton right at the start, I said this is the first time these two pairs have met in a final. final. Yes. And I had a sneaking suspicion that might make a difference. It can be, it can be. It's, it's always difficult to say, but, uh, but I, I just feel that the defence of these two players here, as we see, is slightly more forceful than the Japanese pair, the uh, Korean pair beat yesterday. Yep. Which means that it's more tricky for Shin to really intercept the net. Yep. At the Good moment. Point. At Good the point. moment. So they need to adjust it uh, somehow, Lee and Shin. Lucky oh. neck cord. Yeah, can't do anything about that. Well, this is seven straight points. comes to an end. Tomo Takahashi was in doubt whether that shot was in. Matsutomo took, but I, I'm quite sure it was in. And it was a really nice a block shot she played after that. Well, in all honesty, I think this opening game is beyond the Koreans, but they've got to play themselves into the match before the to. start of the they, second game. They have to. They can't just, you know, let it go and say, OK, we will focus on the next one. They can't. They have to play their way in. Yeah. That's nice. So too is that. Yeah. But the momentum of the rally was changed by the drive defence there. Well, still for Matsutomo actually just to get there and get it back. She's quick. Yes. She's very yeah. light footed. Yeah. Almost silver medalist at the World Junior Championships in women's singles. Yeah, 
2010, she lost to Rachinok. That's it. Yeah. But it's, it's amazing the transformation she's done into a women's doubles, and Steen was actually pointing it out uh, the other day. Normally, when you see players transfer into, into doubles from singles, they become players playing at the back. Yeah. But she has actually went in from singles to doubles and is a front player, mm. which is very, very unusual. It and is. And I think that's a very good point from Sting. Yeah. Good rally. This will help the Koreans give them belief. Oh. Well left. Six, four, hey. oh, well left. Definitely long. That was good power. Yeah. Yeah, she got caught trying to play a backhand grip on forehand defence. Mm. Gideon does that. He does it a lot. Mm. A lot of players are doing it. But I just think it's uh, part of the developer. Development on uh, Matsutomo. I think she keeps developing the whole time, and this is just another angle in her game. A challenge here. Yeah. Good challenge. That's an incredible change. Oh, yes. Threaded it down the line. Now, I do think at times Lee so he is very, very committed to a backhand defence. I think there is a vulnerability down that forehand side. There definitely is, and uh, it's, it's nice to see that uh, Matsutomo is actually not just going for the safe shot down the centre, but she's 
you know, going for the line, and I think that's nice to see. Really good pressure here by the Koreans. I think they have so stopped the train. They might not be catching up and all that, but they have stopped the train. And I think from Lovell first, oh, sorry, second game, it might change a yeah. bit. Yeah. Some defensive shot. Now that's the sort of shot that you were alluding to yesterday yes. and talked yes. about just a moment ago. Yes. Where she's improving because she's not just defending, she's looking to turn that defense into attack and do something with it. Yes, she's playing a lot, lot more proactively than what she's ever, ever done before. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure you're right. I, uh, and and I also notice it uh, such a simple thing as her lifts. This one is going down the center more or less. Ah! But a lot of her lifts now is really directed towards the, 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 the actual corner. And she's really trying to move her opponent and put them under pressure by moving them on the back line. Where before she was just lifting it and then say, okay, yeah. I can defend this one. Here she's trying to put pressure on as well. She has, however, made more mistakes, sometimes playing them out on the, on the sidelines, which we've never seen before. Mm. But she is really trying to so make every point count. Yeah. Hey! That lift is long. That is over. 11, 19. Good serve. Oh, it's landed in. Oh, she could have killed that. Decided to leave it and it a landed plum on the line. And that error of judgment means that the Olympic champions now have nine game point opportunities. Beautiful return of serve there by Lee So He. Takahashi just proving that she too can play from the front of the court. What a great interception to close out the opening game. 21 12. That was very sharp and very crisp. And the Olympic champions are one game to the 21 12 in 18 minutes. Well, for the Olympic champions, this is their eighth final in their 
18th tournament of the year, so very nearly 50% of all tournaments in the final reached. They have done even better than that, though, in 2016. We were in 10 finals from 16 tournaments. But it is a sign of their consistency. So followed forward, didn't she, Morton? She did. She's doing all the right things, not only placing herself in the right spot, but also look at that. Just guiding it cross court and follow through and make sure that everything is in control at the net. Overdone it. I know towards the end of the opening game you were saying she's going for more, but she's making more mistakes. But you, sometimes you do have to take a step back before you can take two or three steps forward. And presumably in her desire and preparation towards 2020 Olympic Games, she has to make these changes and she will get more consistent. I, I so agree with you, and that's what's impressing me the most, is that she's prepared to take these chances. She's prepared to try to develop. Mm. And uh, despite the fact that, OK, I may be, make more mistakes, but I'm really trying my best here. Yeah. And it's for players always to try to find the edge. Yeah. Find that extra thing that can make them better and keep them better than the others. Yeah. And I think she's searching for that. Yeah. Now that was a nice low serve for Matsutomo. She's been struggling with her low serve of late. Yeah. But she is not so much under pressure yet. The, the, the really bad services are coming, let's say 18 or 19 or 20 mm. or and so on. Here it's, it's early uh, second game and they've won the, the first quite comfortable. So when it's getting close. There's the defensive shot whipped across court and she followed forward. Hey. 
Mystic. Do you like the idea? The block? Yes, yes. Follow forward? Definitely. It's all about sometimes giving the initiative away, but giving it away in such a way that you have a chance to counter-attack it again. Mm. And I always, I'm really in favour of that. And uh, this was what uh, Shin was trying to do. Yeah. Takahashi off guard. Yeah, that's a very good punch clear here by Shin Chung Chan. Oh, clever. Five, six. Mm, coach, oh, and why? Getting longer and longer in this second game, aren't they? Yeah, but that's what I said earlier. In, in that first game, it looked like the Koreans stopped the train mm. and they sort of squared it. And you can see here it's 5-6 now and they, they can follow now. So it can be extremely interesting still. I don't think that uh, Japan is still top favourite to win this side. I still think it can go either way. Mm, interesting. But I think that uh, Lee and Shin should try to use the fact that they are playing slightly with the drift, which means their attack will get better. Oh, oh the both side! <laughs> what a rally, what an effort! No, good concentration by the Koreans, look at that. And her partner dived. Fabulous commitment. I'm not sure I've ever seen a Japanese players dive before, have you? Ah, it happens, but not, not so often. No. They're usually so quick and read the game <laughs> so well, they don't have to. They have no need. <laughs> <laughs> they have no need. Yeah, I really think that Lee and Shin should try to use the, the, the small drift to their advantage and start attacking a bit more.
strong interception there by Matsutomo. Landed in. We have a challenge on it. That looks like a wasted challenge. Mm, it does from that, doesn't it? Oh, it does walk on sight. Wasted challenge. Well, there's a line judge was correct. Was me, so he trying to do that <laughs> defensively. Watch this. What she, on earth? <laughs> I think she was committed to the forehand defense yeah. and then suddenly got completely caught. So 11 7 the advantage to the former champions Matsutomo and Takahashi. もう一瞬瞬間の仕掛けてきた。そうですね。ちょっとポジション相手後ろだったら早めに止めた方が効果的。それあとまだ感じてて。ずっとちゃんちゃんなってて。これもちょっと連続に自分の。なんか自分だけ
it was quite unusual that um, Takahashi was able to lift this one out. Um, but uh, yes, I want the Koreans to attack a bit more and make use of the drift that the smashes are getting stronger. Yeah. And it's also a little bit more <coughs> difficult for them to control the length of their lift and so on. So it will be a, a good idea to be on the, uh, on the attack. Well, I can understand if you get a little bit desperate now and again, because uh, Matsutoma and Takahashi, they really get a lot back. Yeah. Short. Yeah. Well, oh, this is very worrying times if you're a Korean fan. Sarah. First of the match. She turned to play that backhand from deep in court. You knew she was in trouble anyway, even if she hadn't have made the error. Yeah, it, was a, it was a good defensive shot by Matsutomo from the backhand side, able to lift it over Shin at, uh, at the front of the net and into the backhand side of Lee. Really well played by Lee Sohi here. Yeah. Look how she's stepping into it if we get it in slow motion. She's really uh, moving forward at the same time as uh, she's doing the, um, her defensive shots. Well, the players have lost the shuttle. It's gone over the A boards and they've gone searching for it. The yeah, pass has just taken you one. Yeah, we didn't, we didn't actually see no, her, we but didn't I agree. Get it. I, I do agree with you. I thought it was a lovely defensive shot. <laughs> lucky net court. Yeah, nothing you can do about that. Well, one. Uh, three points away from a second title at the end of year finale and contesting her third final.
That's the one. That's the one. Stepping into the defence, driving it back very flat over the net and moving forward at the same time. Look at that. Perfect. And the defensive stance is very much forward. Yeah. Two points away from their second title at the end of year finale. Well, nerves could creep into this now, you know. It could. That's what I'm thinking about as well. <laughs> you know, one more point, two more points, and let's say Matsutomo have to serve for the match at mm. 120, then, uh, mm. you know, you never know. Yeah. <laughs> Great speed from Izaki Matsutomo, dominating the front of the court. And she and her partner, Ayaka Takahashi, now on the verge of victory. Four match point opportunities. Well worked. Well, two match points have been well saved, but another two remain. The Japanese combination. down the middle of flatter smash and it landed in three match points have been well saved
That's wide. gone wide. Oh. It's 20 all. It's far from over. No. <laughs> <laughs> It's a good rally. Oh, it's, oh. It's a challenge. We have it's a, a challenge. challenge. Yeah. If the Olympic champions are wrong on this, then they'll be facing a game point, having had four match point opportunities. And the crowd is shouting out, they want a third and final game here. We all do. Wow, that's close. So, in fact, it is a fifth match point opportunity for Matsutomo and Takahashi. My goodness me, you can't be any closer than that. What a challenge. Opportunity. Nozaki Matsutomo and Hayaka Takahashi win the HSBC BWF World Tour Finals, having won the Super Series Finals four years ago. Well, absolute delight, and I'm sure also a huge amount of relief uh, because after failing to convert on their first four match point opportunities doubts must have been creeping into their minds just shy of 50 minutes this final the moment of victory the delight not only for the players, but also for the coaches. Kai Nakajima. Yeah, well, I told them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, still more ways to improve. <laughs> <laughs> but as they take leave of centre stage, our fifth World Tour title of the year for Matsutomo and Takahashi. 21-12, 22-20.